What's going on YouTube? It's your boy T-Bone back here with another video. Now the reason why I'm laughing is simply because this is going to be a very long drawn out video. Not too long ago, maybe about a few days ago, I posted a question on my Facebook stories. It was actually a poll. Either you can vote yes or you can vote no. So the question basically was, should I post a full sneaker collection video on my YouTube channel? I have a lot of yeses, and pretty much no no's. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this collection right here, this closet right here, this closet right here, and we also got another room in the back of my house. But before we get into all this and this room, because this is actually where I keep the heat at where I sleep, we're gonna go in the first room and overlook what's in my collection. So stay tuned. If you like something, leave it in the comment box below. If you don't like it, leave it in the comment box below. The reason why I say that is because I like conversation. I like feedback. I wanna hear my subscribers, my viewers. I don't even care if you aren't subscribed far and wide. Leave a comment in the comment box. Let me know you watched the video. Let your voice be known. Let yourself be heard, all right? I'll add me much love. Let's get into the video. Yeah, so this is where I keep like some of my new, my my very new sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Like the space is getting real limited in here. I have too many sneakers. I can admit it. I'm a sneakerhead though. Like I'm sorry. So my first uh sneaker right here. These will be the Air Max 200s. If you've seen from my last. Well, a past video. Basically, these were pure white. I just colored them in to make it the same colors to go along with a fleece I had on for the holidays. So the only thing I kept original was the very bottom, but I colored that green pod. You can see that blue pod. You can see that red area. You can see in the very black toe cap. All right, moving forward, we have the foam posit North Carolina Blues. This is probably my oldest sneaker in my collection. It was uh, it it was pretty much beat up and everything but i brought it back to life with a little bit of white paint so it's looking uh very nice very fresh uh this right here would happen to be my first nike id i did these um way back when i decided to do it like a, a yellow or a gold tone colorway simply to resemble my birthstone i'm a scorpio so my birthstone happens to be like that gold topaz colorway so i was going for that thinking this is my black Foam posit stealth. There you go, right there. Not bad. I don't wear these too much because they have a clear bottom. These sneakers, I really don't want to show you, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, this was a hit and miss. I was going for a specific color on the uh, Adidas Oswegos. That's what these are. This was a pure white sneaker at the time, but I decided to color it a little bit more. I'm not a professional, but you know, you, you live and you learn, you make mistakes, and um, hopefully I can bounce back from this one. <laughs> I did have a video on this one with my goddaughter, but um, her sneaker came out a whole lot better than mine, so I'm gonna try to airbrush this. My Jordan Low white and black tuxedos. The bottoms are turning yellow. This is why I was saying I don't really like clear bottoms, because after a while, this sneaker will probably be no more good. It won't look good, but it will It'll still be good, but it won't look good. You know what I'm saying? For my OGs out there, we have the Adidas shell toes with the uh, gum bottom, if you want to call it that. So uh, these are my Adidas shell toes. Still white, still pure white, still clean. You wear this with a nice uh, Adidas, um, what do they call that, track suit. You know what I'm saying? You can bring it back like uh, one DMC, which I have done several times. Uh, Burgundy uh, Adidas Crazy 8s. This is a very, uh, it's not a comfortable shoe, but um, the quality is very good. This is all leather right here. This is made of like a football pigskin material. Right here, I have the black boot, booth. I think that's what they call it, booth. Ugg boot, very comfortable boot. If you ask me, keeps your foot nice and warm. Moving forward, we have the Adidas Crazy 8 in that black and white original colorway. Love these. Bought them not too long ago from somebody off of eBay. I actually met them in person. 
So that was a good deal. Moving forward, we have the OG Triple O Triple O G. <laughs> Let me fix that tongue real quick. Pause. Triple O G construction boot right here. Still in good condition. I like to rock these along with some uh, blue jeans. You know what I'm saying? You can't live in New York and not have a pair of construction boots. I've said it once and I'll say it again. That is a staple out here in New York City. Let's see. This one is like a men's broccoli green high Timberland boot. Love these. Still keep them in good, clean condition. Um, As far as like warmth, like war, warmth. I think, I think it's called warmth. I'm having this hard trouble saying warmth. But um, <laughs> as far as like keeping your feet warm, they okay. They they not too bad. But I, I would say wear thick socks along with these. Right here, 997S and that multi colorway. I rock these for the summer of, um, was it 2020? It was 2020. I rock these for the summer of 2020. I was out in Harlem and... I'm not even from Harlem, I'm from the Bronx. Definitely an eye catcher if you have these on. Something different and they are actually very comfortable. These would be my LeBron Soldier 10s. We have the all black colorway right here. The reason why I like this blue, the reason why I like these so much is because they have no laces. I don't tie my sneakers to begin with, so they have no laces. This is more like straps and Velcro. So that pretty much goes across your foot and you are good to go. Are they comfortable after a while when you break them in? Or after a while, you really feel like they're not even on foot anymore. So it takes a while to break them in and be comfortable. But like I said, after a while, you don't even know they're on your foot. We have the Brown Warchester uh, Booth Boot by Ugg. Very comfortable boot. Very sexy appearance or appeal if you ask me. Put these on with a nice uh, trench coat, which I've worn here and there. And uh, yeah, ladies scream for uh, a grown man out here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta put those on and you making grown man moves out here in my opinion. We have another pair of Ugg boots. This was actually my first pair of Ugg boots I ever purchased. This is the navy blue pair. They don't even sell these anymore. Um. I think my dye kind of ran out, or, they, or rather the boot got faded. So I'm gonna see if, um, you know, a shoemaker can possibly uh, give this some more color. I can't say shine it up, because these are not leather, these are suede. So I'm gonna see if he can possibly, um, you know, put a dye on here, navy blue dye, and get these back into good condition. But this is a woman's boot. But it looks like the man boot, so you really wouldn't know, honestly, unless I told you that. So that was my very last uh boot for this closet i want to thank you for bearing with me we are now going to move on to the man cave yeah billy these are my uh woman 98 watermelons right here i've done a review on these not too long ago love the colorway by the way it is a green black and fuchsia if you're not familiar with my past videos like i said before i'm a big fan of fuchsia that is my very second favorite color in the entire world these will be a pair of jordan 11 low ie in that white red and black colorway now there's no uh 23s on these simply because these were custom made for michael jordan only so you already knew these were jordans these would be the woman's racers with that purple white and gray and fuchsia colorway right here they also call these the 98 raptors but these are the 98 racers if i'm not mistaken we have a pair of air max 98 hornets as that hornet colorway teal purple white and a little basketball brown and up the front Ooh, these would be the air max 98 cones love the colorway definitely a dope sneaker a pair of vapor max fly nicks what are these fly net twos yes these are the fly net twos love that purple with many different purples along the sneaker purple black with that clear sole which i wasn't crazy about but it's not turning yellow due to the fact black traction pods on the bottom so hopefully those won't turn yellow but as you can see along with my collection i have many different colors in my rotation i don't just stick to black 
red and blue or gray. Uh, I love many different colors. As you can see right here, we have like that honeydew yellow right here. These are um, Nike Air Hirachis. A lot of women were beasting for those or trying to find them and they couldn't. But I was able to get them for a good deal. Ooh, just picked these up not too long ago too. These are my 97 Ratatouille's right here. White, green, yellow, and red colorway. Very dope sneaker. You just got to keep them clean, though, because it is a lot of white. Moving forward, we have the Women's 97 Summit White. I wore these on the cruise to the Bahamas. People went ballistic on terms of looking at my feet. These pretty much go with any outfit you decide to put on, any outfit you desire to put on. These go with any and every outfit. These I did a review on as well. These would be the Jordan 1 Para Familia, also known as the Day of the Dead. Very dope shoe. Has that uh, kind of like a fuchsia or magenta colorway with that gold crackle on the Nike swoosh. Also a little bit of crackling on the back. But this is a very dope clean shoe. And like I said, you have Para Mi Familia on the very side of the toe box. This was actually my first pair of Jordan 1s right here. I was a little scared to actually wear those because we... They don't have the heel, this is very flat. Here we have a pair of Nike Air Pippins. This would be the work blue colorway. I did a review on these not too long ago as well. Very dope sneaker as well. Nike IDs. These would be the Kyrie, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I put my initials on the very front. We got a T right here. And we got a B on the other one. So TB, there you go. So those are my custom. When Kyrie was actually playing on the Celtics. When Kyrie was actually playing on the Celtics, I was able to make a pair of those. But I also like that green too, that candy apple toxic green. It is um attractive, you know, to the human eye. So I went ahead and purchased those. And I was actually upset. I struck out a few years ago on a pair of uh, Nike up tempos. I think they came out of black, green, and white colorway, but I wasn't able to get them. We have a pair of Nike Air Max 95 animal packs. So, might as well go along with the animals since we have the shoe out once again. We have that Black Panther. We have that zebra right here. This would be leopard. This would be tiger. You have your horse print right here in brown. And on the very front, you have giraffe. Very pretty, a dope shoe. Definitely an eye catcher as well. <laughs> and I would just say, please don't wear those in the snow or the rain. I know sneakerheads do make mistakes, but that mistake, that would just be considered dumb. So. Don't wear those in the rain or the snow. We have my first pair of Pumas right here. These would be the Puma Thunder Spectra in that multi-colorway, black, red, yellow, uh, blue. Yeah, I think I said LeBron 10s. I literally only wore these probably about once or twice in my entire life simply because I'm trying to match the grays up properly and I can never get a hoodie or a shirt to do that. But um, this is a very clean, nice sneaker. This would be a Kyrie. This is the Laker colorway, if I'm not mistaken, black, white, and yellow. These are actually not very comfortable. I can, I feel a little discomfort right here in the toe area. Yeah, it's not very comfortable. I don't know if I should have got them the bigger size, but normally I wear nine and a half for everything. So I just went along with the nine and a half. But these are the Kyrie threes. There you go. One of the ugliest sneakers in sneaker history, the Jordan 15s. Love wearing these. Love that woven pattern up top definitely a dope sneaker this is a sneaker that kind of emulates or replicates uh michael jordan's uh, tongue action pause when he goes to the rim like with his tongue out so that's uh this is the sneaker that does it for him you got the very long tongue right here this would be my first pair of european sneakers or shoes if you want to call it that you can wear these to the club a job interview um church if you wanted to these are my navy blue Maury's got that crocodile leather on the very front very dope sneaker if you ask me if you want to go out with the ladies or maybe on a date pull these out I'm telling you you won't go wrong chafe you just gotta look presentable out here in the streets moving forward we have a pair of these would be my LeBron 10 soldiers this is like a green and white colorway if I'm not mistaken I probably wore these like maybe three times but very affordable shoe I think this was about a hundred dollars most of the colorways of LeBron sold the 10s were about $100. And this was possibly my first LeBron in my entire collection. I do not wear it at all. I kind of fell out of love for it, but if I'm not mistaken, these are LeBron 4s right here. I got that strap. 
also have laces. It's just too much going on with the sneaker. It's, it's too much. <laughs> <sighs> I told y'all this was gonna be a very long video. Hope y'all still here with me because this is what you asked for, YouTube. Give y'all only what you asked for. So this is the heat rack right here. We done finished this closet in front of me and this closet on the very side and back of me. We are gonna start from the very bottom and move our way up to the top. Cause I feel like if I start from the top, then I won't be able to get to the bottom because so many things are blocking the very bottom in order for me to get to the top, whatever. But we're gonna start from the bottom now. <laughs> so here we have a pair of Nike Air Bacons in that Miami colorway. Moving forward, we have a pair of, these would be my white, black, and blue Air Up Tempos. Very dope colorway. I don't wear these a lot. I pretty much wait for summertime to pull them out. But very dope colorway. Very affordable too. If I'm not mistaken, I probably got like two pairs for $80 at one time. Can't tell you which colorway that was. Actually, it's probably that color and this color. I think it was like two for 80. I got them in a steal because nobody was buying these. So I just went ahead and I bought both pairs. So this is the black, white, and red colorway. And you already seen the blue, black, and white colorway from earlier. Ooh. You don't see a lot of YouTubers with these anymore. We have my Dunkins, my uh, Nike, uh, you can call it a foam positive like Duncan right here in that barbecue colorway. Those you gotta keep clean. I did this uh, sneaker review not too long ago too. This would be the black, white, and red Air Pippins. Very dope sneaker. You gotta keep those clean too in good condition. <laughs> Moving forward, we have a pair of white, purple, and yellow. It's basically the Laker colorway of Tempos. They're very comfortable once you break them in a little tight within the toe area, simply because of the elastics that come with the sneaker. Moving forward, we have a pair of, did this review not so long ago too. This would happen to be the Noble Red Air Pippins right here. Love those laces. They do pop and give off a lot of attention. This is a leather sneaker, by the way. So you don't have to do much cleaning with that one. Just make sure you keep the white midsole clean. This will happen to be the Spurs colorway. I think they call this the Confetti Air Up Tempo, if I'm not mistaken, but this is the Spurs colorway. Very dope sneaker as well. Those are a little difficult to keep clean, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But we have the Golden State Air Bacon right here. Don't see a lot of people with this sneaker at all. And if I do, they're pretty much cooked. They're messed up, they're done for. So gotta keep these clean, gotta keep them clean. Keep the midsoles clean. That's pretty much what you gotta do with that sneaker. It's an all leather sneaker. We could do the Jordan 3s right here. The black cement colorway. Definitely a fan favorite right here. A lot of people love these. This will happen to be my favorite sneaker in the entire world right here. This is the Air Jordan Infrared 6. If you know or you don't know, this pull tab does open on the very tongue area right here. So you can put, it's like a button, pops in and out. Oop. All right, that's back on. Love the pull tab, sexy pull tab in the back. Not a fan of the clear bottoms, they do turn yellow. So please, Jordan Brand, if you happen to be watching this video, please get rid of this clear sole. Maybe make it like a, a smoky black, something like that, please. Also, if you don't know, it has the three M hits along the shoe. You won't be able to see it right now, but that three M is basically reflection. You can see it on the shoe, like if a car light hits your sneaker. This basically lights up just a little bit. So that's 3M right there. They call it 3M hits. <laughs> These would be the Jordan 3 Infrareds. Love this sneaker. Like I said, a little discomfort right here in the toe area, but that is okay. You can walk it out and barely not notice it anymore. I switched out my laces for black. These were originally white, but I like the way black brings out the overall appearance of the shoe. So these are the Jordan 3 Infrareds. <laughs> Moving forward, we have a pair of Jordan True Blue 3s. Has that white, red, white, and blue colorway basically. So these were the Jordan True Blue Threes. I have a lot of threes in my collection, I'm sorry. These would be the Jordan 3 Motorsports, if I'm not mistaken. This is that black, white, and royal blue color right here. So these are the Jordan Motorsport Threes. We have a pair of Jordan Infrared 23 Sixes right here. Love the infrared colorway. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the clear bottoms. I need to make this sole a little bit darker. And y'all, y'all got it right here. But other than that, like I said, this would be my favorite sneaker in the entire world. Just the infrared colorway it has that button in the very front. You can snap onto the tongue with. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think there is any 3M hints in here. 
I could be wrong, but um, yeah, I haven't worn these in a while, so I haven't been really paying attention with these. Ooh, definitely a fan favorite right here. This would be the Nike 97 Souls. Love that red, white, and blue colorway. If I'm not mistaken, this is to emulate Souls. See, and I also like <laughs> these black and white laces. Very, very nice. And it has Soul on the tongue. <laughs> One of my favorite Dunkins right here, the platinum silver colorway with that uh kind of hologram nike check right there a lot of people says the say these claws kind of um resemble like a wolverine effect we got like slashes going all around the sneaker so it's a very heavy sneaker by the way we have the black colorway of the tim duncan which is the very same sneaker you just seen but this is just in a black colorway has those same slash marks not a hologram check but more like a black uh matte finish or shine to it and same slashing was on the very front of the shoe. <laughs> right into it. Here we have the Nike Vapor Max Plus in that sunset colorway, your orange, yellow, and black colorway. Here we have the ooh, Nike Barkley Posits, the Gamma Blue colorway. People are going crazy for these. My colors are, well, my bottoms are pretty much turning yellow. But um, this was a good sneaker to hold on to at the moment. These would be my Foam Posit Royal Blues. These are actually a size 10, so they're a little bit too big. But um, they are yellowing. Like I said, I want to um, use a black dye to black out the bottom. Hopefully, I won't ruin the very royal blue bottom of the sneaker. Moving forward, we have, oh God. Woo! Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are the Nike Foam Posit. Oh man, camels. These are the Nike Foam Posit camels. I almost got me. This was a test and I failed this, I'd have been mad. But these are the Nike Foam Posit camels. Very dope sneaker. I don't see the, the bottoms changing color anytime soon. I do wear these here and there as well. So yeah, very dope sneaker. I haven't worn these in a while. This is more like a summer sneaker to me. I'm the LeBron 10s right here. Ooh, oh my God. Very dope colorway. LeBron 10 Dolphins right here. Gotta keep these bottoms clean. I don't care for this part. But when I mean the midsole of the very bottom, like the side, you gotta keep that clean, boy. Gotta keep that clean. This is basically another summer sneaker. Got that fuchsia right there. You already know, second favorite color. We have the LeBron Floridians. These are LeBron Floridian 10s. I was a little skeptic about getting the sneaker at first before I became a big fan of Fuchsia. I used to ask a few of my guys, like, yo, you know, would it be a little feminine if I get these? And they was like, nah, you wear whatever color you want. And boom, should never told me that because I've been going crazy with the pink lately. <laughs> LeBron 10 Elites in that superhero colorway. Actually, these they call these the superheroes, but these are actually <laughs> like a Nick colorway. So every time I get ready to go to a Knicks game, this is the perfect colorway to have. I'm a big time Knicks fan. Love the Knicks. I love all New York teams per pretty much. Even though people be hating on my Knicks, I'm still rooting for y'all. Y'all go ahead, y'all do y'all thing. Maybe y'all get a chip someday for you know my time being on this earth. <laughs> but other than that, these are LeBron Elite Superheroes right here. All right, here we have a pair of LeBron 10 Corks. If I'm not mistaken, I bought these for my very 32nd birthday. I happen to be in London at the time. And I also was doing a little visiting out in Paris, so I treated myself. And this was my birthday gift. It was a LeBron 10 Corks. Woo! It's been a little while since I wore these. They're a little dusty, dusty, but got that special casing. This is a jewel. And uh, sneakers basically come in a sock-like bag. And these are the LeBron 10 Crown Jewels. And you have it. Is that like plum purplish colorway fuchsia right there can't go wrong fuchsia tiger head right there with the crown scepter love them can't go wrong with these 
LeBron 10 gold medals, Chief. There you go. You got the red, white, and blue with the gold check. Has your uh, American flag on the very backing with that uh, gold lion head right there. If you can see that, gold lion head, boom. Also like the metal tippings on the shoelaces. That's a very nice addition. Many of you know what this is. Big orange box. Kind of looks like a Lego piece. These are the Fear of Gods. Ugh, very hard to get off. Very hard to get the lid off. Oh, very hard to get the lid off. <laughs> All right, let's get it to it. Also did a uh, unboxing on these not too long ago. Mm, still got that same factory smell. I just received word two not too long ago. Had to actually, I think it was today. This will actually be Jerry Lorenzo's last Nike sneaker. He actually signed to Adidas just recently. I heard that, that news just recently. So this is his last Nike basketball sneaker, the Airfield Gods Triple Blacks. Was this? No. This was my second, my very second Nike ID. This would be my Navy Blue LeBron Soldiers. Got the TB on the front. Got T-Bone as my nickname. These are LeBron 10s. If I'm not mistaken, I bought these for a birthday gift. So those are my navy blue and white ones. My mom actually purchased these for me. This would be a pair of another Nike ID LeBron 10. TB on the front, T-bone on the tongue. LeBron 10s right here. This would be that noble red colorway. So this was a Christmas gift from my mom to me. Still kept them fresh in good condition. I don't even look like I wore them, but believe me, I wore them several times. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> about to get into the Kobe collection. R.I.P. Kobe. All right, so we got the Christmas. I actually had these on recently for Christmas. So this is the Kobe Christmas colorway right here. Can't go wrong with those. Red, black, and white colorway. Little infrared on the shoelaces. This is the Kobe 9 Sequoia. A lot of people slept on these. So able to get it for a very cheap deal. But after that, these things skyrocketed. So these are the Kobe 9 Sequoias. Got that green, orange, you know, white, and gray color. Has like an oil slick shine to it, too. I think these are what started it all right here. The Kobe 9 Gumbo. Yeah, I think it's called the Gumbo, or rather the Maestro. This is the Maestro right here. So I like these colors that go around the shoe. Kind of reminds me of like a window pane or window stain that you see on like church windows. So yes, this is the Kobe 9 Maestro. And the bottoms do glow in the dark. Got another pair of Kobe 9s right here. This would be the Victory. Kobe 9 Victory. Now, the way you would find out the actual name of the sneaker, you can look on the inside of the tongue, and boom, you have Victory right there. So, these are Kobe 9 Victories. And that, uh, this is more like a, a vault green on with white and black. White and black with a gold check. Ah, oh, man. This is a nice one. Can't find this blue anywhere. This is the Kobe 9 Legacies. Kobe 9 Legacies. So, here we have the Kobe 9 Legacies. This is like that uh, mystique blue, navy blue, with a metallic silver check. There's a whole bunch of different blues on the shoe, and that's what makes it so difficult to match up with anything. But um, yeah, these are the Kobe 9 Legacy. Ah, big shout out to this guy right here. So not, well, actually a long, long time ago because I stopped working there and they actually closed down. I used to work at a spot called Sanctuary Tea. It was a restaurant in Manhattan. I think on Broadway and Canal, something like that. But um, <laughs> my boss, when he really looked out for me, I, um, at the time, was the, I was actually a porter, if you want to call it that. And I would wash dishes and take out trash and all that, blah, blah. This is like way back when. Um, So it was one point in time, I had to take out like 10, 11 big trash bags of garbage. I had to take it out on the street. And when he came in in the morning, you know, he seen all the trash there. Basically, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. But I guess the trash man didn't pick the garbage up at a specific time. So I had to move all 11 bags of trash back in the restaurant. I was like highly upset because it was only me at the time moving this stuff. So, you know, he granted me a gift card from Nike and I went ahead and I purchased the Kobe 10 Codas right here. So um, big shout out to him. If he's watching my video, <laughs> these would be my Nike Vapor Max 2019 utilities. I happened to purchase these when I was out in Italy for my birthday. I was celebrating my 30, 
Was it 30? No. Uh, yeah, my 33rd birthday. I'm sorry, I'm 34. Oof, I'm losing it. So I was, I was celebrating my 33rd birthday, and I was also celebrating my mom's birthday because our birthdays are four days apart. I'm not going to shout her age out on here, but basically I purchased these for myself. Nike also gave me a coupon. I think it was about $20 off, so I went ahead and I made this purchase when I was out in Italy. So these are the Nike Vapor Max Utilities. Now, I actually just finished wearing these. I wore these today with a blue and white plaid shirt. But these would be my Nike LeBron 3s. Um, they're nice looking, but they're not very comfortable. The reason why I say that, I feel it all in the back of the ankle. I don't, it's like it's digging in my ankle every time I walk. I don't know if I need thicker socks or something, but these are the Nike LeBron 3s. These would be the Nike LeBron 3 Christ the Kings. As you can see, the C T K on the side, Christ the King right here in that maroon colorway and gold. Maroon, maroon, gold, and white, I should say, colorway. So I just purchased these not too long ago as well, and I did a review on them, on Foot Review. Go check that video out if you can. These are the Nike Black Anthracite Foam Posits. Very dope sneaker. I haven't worn it. I haven't worn it very much. I only wore, wore this one time. That was for my 34th birthday because I just made 34. So happy belated birthday to me. But this is a very dope sneaker to have in your collection right here. Black all around, black bottom, can't go wrong. Perfect foam positive right here. Whew. 31st birthday. This was the gold colorway of the foam positive right here. Got these for my 31st birthday. I spent in chocolate, a restaurant out in Harlem with a whole bunch of friends. So this is a very dope sneaker right here as well. We have the... University Red Foam Posit has that uh, shine to it with the black bottom. Can't go wrong with these. Very nice. Very nice. And this is the very last sneaker on the very top rack of shoes. We have the Nike Foam Posit Sequoia. Has that green colorway, orange check orange uh, rope lace tips with a pull tab in the back and a black bottom. Love it. So this is my entire sneaker collection as of right now. <laughs> like I said, I have another sneaker on the way to possibly close out 2020. If you like my rotation, if you like my sneaker collection, please let me know. Comment down below what you like, what you dislike. Critique my material. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Much love. Holla at me. This has been real. It's been fun. It's your boy T-Bone. Much love. One. Yeah, baby.